I bet you didn't know that there's a test for prostate cancer that's apparently 270% more accurate than PSA, and most people, including doctors, haven't heard of it. It's not an MRI, and it's not a biopsy, it's a simple blood test, and it really does exist, now. I'm a doctor in the UK who talks to men about their prostates every single day, but honestly, this test could be a game changer. Today, I'm gonna to tell you what it is, how it compares to the PSA, and how you might go about getting it. And I'll show you the role we could see it playing sooner than we think. The test is called the Prostate Screening Epigenetic Test, or the PSE. It's a brand new test developed here in the UK, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it. But to understand what makes this test so different, you have to step back and look at the PSA, the test that we've been using for years and years, and you start to realize something surprising. The PSA isn't really a cancer test at all and there's an easy way to understand why. So imagine your prostate is like a big, heavy book. The PSA test can't open the book, look inside and read the words. All it can do is weigh the book. And if it finds that the book is heavier than normal, thicker than normal, then the PSA test goes up. But it doesn't tell us why the book is different. But if you open the book and have a little look inside, then you start to see that there are loose pages in there, like BPH, the prostate getting bigger. Or it could be because of prostatitis that's happening. Or maybe it's just because you've been cycling. Or maybe it's cancer. All of them could be making the book heavier and the PSA test abnormal. So yeah, cancer is one of the reasons a PSA test might be raised, but there are others too. So that's what I mean by the PSA test isn't a specific cancer test. It just tells us something's going on with the prostate without telling us what. And this is where the PSE test steps in. So instead of just measuring the thickness of the book and the weight of the book like the PSA test does, the PSE test looks inside the prostate and reads the sticky notes that are in there. These are called biological markers or epigenetic changes, and there are five to look out for. We know that men with prostate cancer tend to have some of these biological markers, sticky notes, and men without prostate cancer tend not to have them, making this a much more accurate test. So while PSA just tells us something's going on with the prostate, the PSE answers a scarier question. Has cancer left its mark. Here's what epigenetics means in plain English. Your DNA, which is inside every single cell, is yours for life. It's the same. It's a little bit like the words in the book. It's printed, the words are down there, it can't be changed. But you could start adding these things. These are chemical switches that guide you to a page and control which words are read. Now cancer can add its own sticky notes in a very unique pattern where they can turn genes on or off in ways that normal cells don't. Now the PSC test is trained to find this exact pattern. And if it finds it, then your chances of prostate cancer are much, much higher. Here's why this test is so exciting and has huge potential in the real world. Think of what usually happens. We get a PSA test and the PSA is raised. The chances of that test actually meaning prostate cancer are 30 to 40% at max. So what happens is that man goes for an MRI, maybe even a biopsy, even though chances are he never needed to have that. But in early studies, it's been found that men who have a PSA test plus a PSE test correctly identified cancer in 94% of men. 94% of men. That's a huge jump, which more than doubles the accuracy of the PSA alone. And unlike PSA, it's much less likely to give you a false alarm. Right, so now let's look at what it could do in real life. Let me paint you two real world scenarios. Man one is, let's call him Tom, and he has a raised PSA, and we follow the rules for him. We refer him for an MRI, maybe even a biopsy, and Tom spends weeks worrying that he might have prostate cancer. But after the tests are had, he's told, all clear, it wasn't prostate cancer, it was probably because he was on a long bike ride or he had an infection or some other benign reason for having a high PSA. Man two is Tom's twin brother, Harry, identical twin brother, and he's had the PSA test too and got the exact same result as Tom. But this time, 
his doctor has run the PSE test too. And that PSE test has come back negative for those five markers. And the doctor can confidently say that this is not prostate cancer, meaning no MRIs, no biopsy, and it can all be avoided, including those weeks of worry that his brother had. And if we flip things around in this world where we're doing the PSE test, and the PSE test comes back as positive for some of those five markers, well, we have a higher index of suspicion because so we can get things moving along much, much quicker. So it makes sense, right? It's a good sounding test. Should we all get started with ordering it? Well, yes and no. Sadly, the test isn't available on the NHS in the UK yet, and there'll be several reasons given for that, like the technology is new, the research is young, and we don't know whether this applies to all men because the research isn't concrete yet. But the bottom line is, it's expensive. You can get the test privately, but it looks like it will set you back about £750, and that's a deal breaker for most people. But it is here, it is gettable, it is real, and with time, it will probably become more pragmatic and more realistic for the average man. But for most of us, we have to continue to rely on the old workhorse, the PSA. And like I've already said, it's not perfect. So if you want help deciding whether to even get it in the first place, have a look at this video here. Oh, and one more thing. I've got a new newsletter called Three Apples, which you can sign up to for absolutely for free using the link below where I'll send you a weekly nugget, something lighthearted and quick that you can have a read through. Thanks for watching today and hopefully I'll see you over there.